Welcome to the gardens at Elm Bank. This evening we have art in the garden and we have about 30 artists throughout the gardens uh, uh, showing their wares, paintings. Uh, we have uh, oil paintings, we have watercolors, we have photography. There's a lot of uh, different uh, pottery artists here this evening people that are doing cards and it's an opportunity just to bring art into the garden and have people come out for an evening um, of music. Uh, we're uh, happy this year that we have a food truck that people are really excited about as well as uh, we're selling uh, beer and wine and just a wonderful evening to bring people out into the gardens at Elm Bank. <laughs> collect leaves from our gardens and we uh, hand cast them in a concrete and hypertufa mix. Um, so there's concrete, a little bit of peat moss and some vermiculite and uh, then we hand paint them and seal them so they are a beautiful addition to the garden. You can use these as downspouts or bird baths uh, or just as a garden art piece. We also have some uh, mushrooms that we've made so that you can put those into your garden or your fairy garden if you want. They come in all sizes. It's just a lot of fun. How'd you get into this? Well, I'm a physical therapist and Nancy is a nurse and we were looking for a creative outlet from our medical professions and we found it. We actually bought our own concrete mixer and uh, we get a little help getting the bags of concrete, but uh, we mix it on Saturday and then collect our leaves and uh, make our casts, leave them for a few days, and then do the painting. Yeah. We've actually done a couple of workshops. We're both in our local garden club, Medfield Garden Club, and we've done a couple of workshops for our members, and we actually just started doing workshops for the public. Um, we did one over at Tangerini Farm earlier this spring, and we had a lot of fun. So it's just a really nice departure from at least what she and I do most days of the week, and it's been a lot of fun to do. So I paint with uh, acrylics and I obviously like a lot of texture so I start by putting a base layer on the canvas and um, as the paint dries I tend to work with it um, to build up some layers and some texture as I'm going um, and kind of let the painting take on a life of its own. I, as I started playing with paint um, I never really liked drawing straight lines or, or really crisp um, realism uh, like pieces and so uh, it was really through practice but the style kind of evolved as I as I learned more about the paint. Uh, it always starts as a landscape um, but it like I said the painting kind of takes on a life of its own so I always start with something that's um, either a memory or a picture that I'm working off of. Um, it's always something that I've experienced firsthand but the painting always inevitably takes on a little bit of a form of its own and the, as the paint's drying sometimes I uncover something that I really like and I just let it go. Somewhere there's music, how faint the tune. Somewhere there's heaven, how high the moon. There is no moon above, when love is far away. Shine, you will come to me soon. 
So I own this company, Eyes of the World, and it's nature photography. Uh, most of it's local. We do a lot of birds, wildlife, flowers, landscapes, and abstracts. Um, so right here, um, there's a local guy in Framingham. He makes these um, wood boards, and he prints them on the canvas. And they're really, really lightweight. One nail. It's really cool. <laughs> well, I retired from my other job, and I was supposed to go on a long trip, and I hurt my knee, and I couldn't go anywhere. And all I could do all day was look out the window and play with my camera. So that, that is really how I got into it. In two weeks from now, on August 16th, we'll have goddesses in the garden, which is another event to have people come out for a picnic, enjoy music, and also um, uh, to just enjoy the gardens. Uh, we were very excited. Last night, we had Shakespeare here from Commonwealth Shakespeare doing Henry VI Part II. It's the first time we've um, invited the Shakespeare Company and it was very well received. Um, so we hope to be doing that maybe next year again. So please come and support us and just come enjoy this beautiful place.